again everyone it's colleen with colleen's play addiction um some of my subscribers have asked me how um to show how i reduce my canes so i've obviously the character canes that i've already created i've already long reduced i just finished marie with was one for any of you who watched the um short video on Skinner Blends. This is where I use the Skinner Blends, just a little bit, but it just gives a little bit more color. Anyway, now that I just finished Marie, I thought maybe we would use her and I would show you how I reduce. Um, so this is actually one of the more difficult ones to reduce because it's very uh, more of a rectangular than a round. So I find that round or um, triangular are a lot easier to reduce than uh, rectangles because rectangles tend to get a little bit distorted so it's probably going to happen when we go to reduce her is that she's going to start looking um a little squattier maybe she needs to lose a couple of pounds i don't know <laughs> anyhow um so i wanted to show you this so you're going to start first we're going to just push it in a little bit just to kind of compress some of those lines so you don't see many of the lines. So it literally is just compressing. If I sound like I'm straining, it's because sometimes it's a little difficult to do this. Okay, so we're gonna start here in the center. We're gonna work our way from the center out. So you can see I'm taking the center piece and I'm pushing it. Because when I first started here, if you can see my hands this way, let's say that way. Yeah, I'm pushing down here that way it's given it some reduction that way so i'm trying to make it a little bit more reduced it's a process it takes a little while it's a uh, i'll tell you this though the reduction of your cane can literally make or break your cane i did a dumbo um a while back he was came out adorable and then I reduced him and I completely destroyed it because, let me show you what I did. And I'm not gonna do it this time, I'm just gonna show you. But I decided since he was also very long, let me just show you what, what was left of him. So that's the cane that he was. So he, it started out to be very, very long because of his big old ears. So I decided, well, maybe it'd be smarter to, to, to push the cane out. So I just took my block and I started pushing it out and I started making it smaller with the block. What that virtually did was make the outsides of the cane perfectly intact. But when I got to the middle, which is where the meat of the cane is, totally destroyed. Can't tell you how heartbreaking that was. I mean, I did another Dumbo after that and he came out a lot better, uh, though not perfect. This is a, one of the leftover ones, so his eye is kind of gone on the second one, but he was a lot cuter. And anyway, that first one was a big disappointment. So I'm just talking while I'm here, trying to squish her down a little bit. There's no short, easy, quick way to do this. Um, sometimes you have to take a break uh, to let it breathe a little bit. I'm trying to keep her kind of skinny and keep her body intact. Uh, the thing of it is, I don't worry too very much about what it looks like here at the edges, just because when we get to the end, we're going to cut all that off anyway. None of this very edge, like if you look at it this way, you're going to cut down here. None of that edge is going to be usable anyway. So it's good because it gives you an idea of what she's looking like in the middle of the cane, while at the same time, don't fret too much if she gets a little bit distorted because then that just probably means the center of your cane is gonna be working out well, probably. I say probably because like I said, ah, more than one cane has gotten destroyed and that's uh, pretty heartbreaking. When you put six to eight hours of work into a cane and then it's not what you think it is, not only is it heartbreaking, but dang, when I do these characters, it's a loss of a lot of clay. So, you can see how I'm I'm doing it here. I'm gonna take a break for a second. I'm gonna reduce her a little bit more and then come right back. All right, so yeah, you can see she looks more like a mouse at the moment. Um, so I've gotten her at about this long, which is about one, two, three, four, five, you know, like five inches long, the good part that you're gonna be able to keep. So now 
Um, you can see it's still more elongated because I'm trying to keep it as close to her body proportions correctly as I can. Now comes a moment of truth because I'm going to cut it and I'm going to see what we're looking like. Here we go. I'm a little scared, but that's okay. And oh my goodness, she's pretty adorable. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm actually super happy with that. And you can look at it from the other way and then she looks still just as cute. I'm so excited. Okay, so from this point on, this smaller piece, I'm gonna keep to the side because that's gonna be the largest size. When I reduce my canes, I reduce them. Yeah, see, that's another problem you have when you get a real thick area of translucent. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes that area can start to crack a little bit. Um, don't get too worried about it, it's, it's gonna be fine. Now I'm gonna take and reduce this next one down because I need a smaller one. Of course, we can't have them all that big. Um, what I try to do is take maybe like um, a third of the cane, the good stuff, and I take that and make it my big one. And then I reduce these down some more. And by at this point, it's literally, it's almost like I can fit it in one hand pretty much. It's a good workout for your hands. If your hands need some workout, get a cane, start reducing. All right, and I got some crack spots. That's not actually gonna affect, and the majority of the time when I'm covering something with my canes, I usually end up cutting the translucent off anyway. So if there's a little piece of translucent missing here or there, I don't think that that's gonna make a big difference. Now you can see she's getting a little fat. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to make her long again. Okay, again. There we go. Now, I've still got this big piece left, but let's cut, oh, I don't know. Let's say, let's cut that much. There we go. So, her face is a little tiny bit wide. You can just, whoop, there she goes. She's back to her little skinny self. All right, and then we're back to this piece. Now, this piece on the end here, I mean, if you wanted to cut some of it off, you can. Doesn't really matter either way. That's all scrap. Oh, actually, so funny story about that. See, I said I was all scrap. I, like you saw my Dumbo that was missing one eye. This, I can still use a couple of these pieces and they're perfect um, for when I'm trying to fill in areas and I just need a piece of um, like a cane or a piece of a, a character. So I'm gonna hold on to that because I can go a little bit longer because when I go and cut off the translucent, I can just nick that off right there let me see if you can see that better. Right here where it's the extras coming down because you see it's all, yeah. So I can just nick that off right there and then it'll come out really well. Sometimes you can cut these areas off too and reshape them up. So she's gonna stay over here till I figure out how much of her I can still use. And that's on that side. Now we're gonna squish her down even more and we're gonna make smaller canes. I usually try to make three to four sizes and that's gonna depend entirely on how much clay I started with as to how far down I can go and how much I can make. Um, I like to have several smaller sizes, I like, well, several different sizes, because, yeah, see, it's really cracking a lot here. That really bothers me. So let's see if I can. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't want it to distort the whole thing, so. You know, sometimes I get an idea that works, sometimes it doesn't. So what I decided to do was to make this cane a little bit um, more useful is I went ahead and added a couple of pieces of translucent. Honestly, I've never done it before. If we're really being honest, I never even thought about doing it before. Um, but I'm gonna see if it, it does any good um, to help keep me from distorting those pieces that opened up. We shall see. But it seems like logical. <laughs> that doesn't always mean it's gonna work. It just means it seems logical. So I'm still reducing this guy. And in retrospect, I may end up making the one I had as the biggest one even smaller because looking at him now, it's a pretty good size. But so adorable. Just so happens Marie is one of my favorite characters. I say one of them, I do have quite a few, but. She's kind of feminine and girly and 
I like to think of myself the same way. So I think she's pretty cute. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it, because I this size is I, I seem to use a lot. There she is. She's still pretty adorable. She's reducing really well. I would say, see? I would say I'm really pretty pleased with her reduction. She stayed, um, if you take a look at it and see, so I tried to make it as close to, let's call it sort of an oval, because it wasn't really a rectangle, but it definitely wasn't a circle. Let's call it an oval. So I try to fill in the areas here so that it's one smooth area here, so that when I reduce it, it doesn't distort. And it looks like it was pretty successful for that because it didn't really distort a lot. Now we're gonna take this last little one. Let me see if I can cover this little bit of black up so that I can make this cane a little bit more usable. It may or may not work, I'm not entirely sure. But hey, never know till you try, right? So, and this is, like I said, is the first time I tried this because, you know, necessity, mother of invention, and you never know if something's gonna work till you give it a shot. So here I am giving it a shot. All right. So this is the smallest I'm gonna go with her because since she's full bodied, I don't wanna go too small. So I'm cutting that off there. You can see there's a little bit of, of mess up along that area, but you kind of get the general idea and I can go a little bit closer, but I feel like I've saved a fair amount of that, that king, her, she's a little lopsided here. Let's take a look at this side. So let's cut this one off and see. So she did get a little bit skinny in her last um, reduction, but I still think she's, I think, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with her. So for all you who were looking at how to reduce cane, there you go, cane reduced. Have a great day.